This video will explain dust and habitat mitigation projects on the exposed lake bed of the Salton Sea that are completed or still under construction. I will not discuss mitigation projects that are only proposed or planned because many projects have a history of never getting built or are continuously delayed due to problems like finding funding. It is important to note that these completed mitigation projects are crucial for two reasons. One, these projects help to suppress dust that is causing major respiratory issues for people who live near the sea. And two, these projects can also rebuild habitat for birds and other wildlife that used to use the sea when it was less salty. The projects I will be discussing are the Torres Martinez Desert Cuya Indians Tree Planting Project, the Salton Sea Conservation Habitat Project, the Surface Roughening Projects, the Hay Bale Placement Project, and the Vegetation Enhancement Projects. I will also discuss the Red Hill Bay Project because it was mostly built, but more recently replaced with surface roughening. One of the latest projects to be completed is the Torres Martinez Desert Cuya Indians Tree Planting Project. Last December, for only a week, 1,782 native mesquite and palo verde trees were planted on the tribe's land with biodegradable water-holding reservoirs. Some of the trees were pre-treated with salts, while others were not. This project is an experiment to determine which species of tree do best on the playa and whether pretreatment helped their survival. The tribe hopes this method of dust suppression and habitat building works well enough that the trees are able to thrive and spread on the clay-rich playa. If successful, the project could be expanded. Another exciting project located on both sides of the playa surrounding the New River is the Salton Sea Conservation Habitat Project that began construction in early 2021. If completed, I believe this will be the first project on the Salton Seas Playa that will create wetlands. This project is designed to consist of 4,110 acres of ponds that will suppress dust and create habitat for fish and birds. This project is estimated to be finished by late 2023. However, this project could potentially fall apart if the Imperial Irrigation District, or IID for short, decides to back out of its contract to supply the project with their water. The most widely used method of dust suppression so far are various surface roughening projects. The California Natural Resources Agency describes their implementation of this method as pulling a plow attached to a tractor to create troughs that are perpendicular to prevailing winds. The method is designed to force the surface winds into a trough where they drop the dust they are carrying rather than letting it remain airborne. IID completed 1,954 acres of surface roughening as of 2021, while the Salton Sea Management Program has completed at least 698 acres of temporary dust roughening. The Salton Sea Management Program plans on later flooding their surface roughening sites once the Salton Sea Conservation Habitat Project is completed. Another method of dust control are the vegetation enhancement projects that have been completed around the lake. IID plants iodine bush for vegetation enhancement due to its high salinity tolerance, but may also use salt bushes and greasewood in the future. Areas that have both medium to coarse soils and that are in the south and northern sides of the sea with access to river or agricultural drain water had areas seeded with native species and man-made furrows or beach ridges. IID has completed 730 acres of vegetation enhancement as of 2021. Although I cannot find much information on it, the California Department of Water Resources seems to have already started placing hay bales on the playa at the Salton Sea in an effort to mitigate dust. I do not know exactly how many acres now are covered with hay bales or how many the department plans on covering in the future. Lastly, there is, or should I say there was, the Red Hill Bay Project. In 2015, the 400 acre wetland project was started and scheduled to be finished by 2017. Later this completion date would be extended to 2020 and later extended again to 2021. Today the berms and pipes put into place to create the wetlands have been removed by IID because they were in the way of the surface roughening that IID has currently replaced the project with. The Imperial Irrigation District says they had to do this because of the citations by Imperial County Air Regulators who, 
on the other hand, has also told IID to flood the bay by October of 2022. IID says it would not finish the Red Hill Bay project because of two other problems also. One problem has to do with the companies who have mineral rights to the lithium under Red Hill Bay, while the other is that IID, along with the federal government, says that the Alamo River, that was an important source of water for the project, is too low to work with the original Red Hill Bay project plans. Many have blamed IID for delaying the project and are concerned that the $1.5 million already spent on the project will be for nothing. The fate of this project is largely uncertain. Before I end this video, I should mention that all these projects cover only a small amount of the playa that is currently exposed and will be exposed in the coming years. According to the Pacific Institute's current salt sea information site, there are about 14,900 acres of exposed playa. However, dust control may not be necessary on every acre of exposed playa. IID reports that between 2017 and 2018, the playa on the north side of the salt sea produced no dust emissions, while the playa on the western side produced over half the dust emissions. Air quality in the region, though, should have never been allowed to degrade to its current state. The birds, too, should never have lost a major resource without a replacement. Restoration projects cannot keep being delayed when this problem is only getting worse every year. For more information about the projects I discussed, please check out the links posted in the description of this video.